I'm your host, Lucia, and you're watching the new show, TSU. Let's get it. Hi, my name is David Frenchman, reporter, student body, Texas Southern University. Today we're going to bring you a topic around the movement of the Take Back TSU student-led movement. We're going to talk about TSU's culture and tradition as it relates to its identity as an HBCU. We're going to talk to Caleb Taylor, Nicole Hutchins, and Dr. Freeman. These uh, individuals will help us understand the importance of TSU's identity as an HBCU. Thank you. Initially, when I first came here um, at Texas Southern, which was way before um, 2013, um, it was a whole different atmosphere. Before I came to TSU, I had heard a lot about TSU, positive and negative. I have family members, I have siblings that have matriculated through this university. The quality of the faculty that has, has been able to attract to the program through the years, not just at one time, but the quality and the nature of the relationship between students and teachers. Uh, you were aware that it was an HBCU, and what I mean by that is the culture, um, the, the life, the Greeks were active on campus. We had pep rallies every week. We had hump days every Wednesday that lasted for at least two hours. We had big entities that came to the university, such as the BET college tour, um, black college tour experiences that just really just brought out that HBCU experience. So TSU has had a passion for developing programs and students and for having a close relationship between students and teachers. I came to TSU because, uh, number one, I wanted to keep the uh, tradition going in the family. I do have family members who um, have graduated from Texas Southern, um, but I also wanted to um, get that HBCU experience that I knew I would not get at any other university. I came to TSU because I wanted to be educated at a historically black college or university. And TSU, with it being in the fourth largest city, I felt like it, was, it would offer plenty of opportunities as well as give me that experience. Oh, TSU now compared to before 2013, um, it's just different. It's different. There is no, we're not proud. We, we don't have any spirit in our school anymore. Um, all of our Greeks have somehow disappeared. I'm not sure why. Um, it, it's just different and I feel like the atmosphere is that people just want to come to class and then leave. They don't want to sit, you know, and sort of mingle amongst each other and celebrate the enriched culture that we should be proud about here. It's just completely different and I feel also in the sense that our legacy and our tradition is starting to be watered down. TSU now, although we excel academically, TSU's culture as a historically black college or university is not embraced. The administration's marketing plans uh, have been focusing on recruiting non-black students and beyond that is not embracing uh, black culture and so individually it's almost like telling black students that we're really inferior, that we're taking advantage of. Um, I've, I've done a little of my own research I can't necessarily speak on Texas Southern University's behalf, but based on perception, what I've seen is that somehow we are slowly but swiftly uh, moving away from the fact that we're an HBCU. As a matter of fact, you can go on um, tsu.edu right now and pull up the mission statement. We are no longer mentioned um, as an HBCU. Um, what I've also noticed that was very disturbing is that there's a recruitment video that's out that is not accurately or fairly representing Texas Southern University. There are no African-American students in this video. And I asked the university, why is this? Are we somehow sending a message that black students no longer matter here? It, it appears as if we're trying to move away from what this university was founded upon, what it's built its, le its legacy and its long history upon. We're trying to um, move away from that. And it's very disheartening. Well, I suspect that 
the effort at diversity is not to be condemned, but encouraged. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with um, showcasing diversity. I think that's amazing. I think that's great. But I think some way, somehow, we have to be able to incorporate that without omitting the very people who make up this university and why this university exists in the first place. It was founded as Texas State University for Negroes. We were established in 1927 originally as the uh, Texas College for Negroes and in 1947 we were established properly as Texas Southern University and the reason why is because we could not get educated legally at other schools. At that time there were no schools of higher education to which Negroes would be admitted. This was a way of providing the opportunity for higher education for those who had been denied the privilege of higher education. I feel that TSU should remain in HBCU because, I mean, there's, there's so many reasons. I can go through a list, but the main reason is because it's, it's, it's part of history. Besides the fact that people have fought and died to maintain TSU's rich legacy and history, statistically, even still today in our quote unquote integrated society, it is still harder for African Americans to be accepted into predominantly white institutions. And so the purpose, the whole purpose of HBCUs is to provide African Americans with an equal opportunity at higher education. And that is still a prevalent issue today in 2015. Look at the statistics today, African Americans still only represent about no more than 15% um, of the population at other traditional PWIs. So I think it's even more vital now that we still have these schools um, for us because they just provide a different experience um, for African Americans and give um, a sort of a development uh, for themselves here that they more than likely are not going to get anywhere else. There are still persons who are denied access to higher education because of some deficiencies of which they are, for which they are not responsible themselves, like inadequate educational facilities in the early years and stages of their development. And these deficiencies represent a need for the continuation of institutions like Texas Southern designed to provide opportunity for those who for one reason or another which did not necessarily indict them but made it difficult for them to be accepted at other institutions. I just want to say that I love Texas Southern. I would not be here if I did not. I would not be a part of certain movements on this campus if, it, if I did not love Texas Southern University and the students here and the alumni. They're so amazing and I just hope that we can feel proud of who we are and not ashamed of who we are. I think TSU is on its way and you're going to be happy one day to say TSU, TSU, we love you. Okay, guys.